All right, everybody, and welcome to the Easy Interaction System tutorial. This is this first tutorial is going to go over how to set up input and the interaction handler to get interactions working with your character. Um, I've imported the feature pack for the first person character, and that's a pretty good place to start. So let's dig in. We've got the first person character blueprint. I'm going to control E to edit the blueprint. And we're going to need to add, I've already added it here, but I'll remove it. Let's, um, that interaction handler. This is your connection with the, the game interactives and, uh, rename it real quick. All right. And so this is, this is what we'll use to, to, to click on the buttons and interact with the doors. And it just manages, you know, what interactive is closest and it figures out the correct one for you. Um, you can dial in the settings here and, Get it to way, the way you want it. Uh, Raycast works good if you want to just point your camera at something and have it very precise. And then you've got area scan, which I think would work better for third person, but I've tested it with first person and it seems to it seems to work well as well. It's a less you don't have to be as precise, and that can always be nice for certain kinds of games, especially something where you're kind of like a fast paced and you don't want the player to have to stop and point directly. And and so that's kind of handy. All right, so we've added our interaction handler, and we'll need to go into our project settings and add an input for interaction. So just add a new action mapping for interact and set it to whatever key you want. I want it to be the E button. And now we can go back to our player graph and go event input interact. Boom. All right, so we've got our interact button here. We're going to drag out our interaction handler and we're going to call start interacting when the button is pressed down and when the button is released we're going to call stop interacting and so that'll just uh, that'll just handle the whole flow of things you know for interactions that take longer or shorter amounts of time and it'll just work it'll just work so now we'll go into the construction script and we're going to call bind scan root. And what this does is it is, assigns a specific component of over here to the interaction handle, the handler and that's what's going to watch for the interaction. So this is going to be the the camera. And this could also be something else in your character. It could be your your uh, player mesh and possibly VR hands. I haven't tested that yet, but I think that would work here. Okay. So we send the scan root the next thing you're going to want to add is some kind of widget to let us know what we're able to interact with. And we're going to just go event begin play. And we're just going to add a, create a widget. We're going to create our basic interaction cursor. It requires an input of an interaction handler. Add to viewport. We should have functional interactions now. And before we press play, let's go into the blueprint and then templates. And we'll add a door. Yep. So now we have a player controller and, and, and a door. So yeah, that's all it takes to get the interaction system working for your character. Uh, the next video, we'll go over some of the, the other things 